No, Quisada Ray. Take Lighter Crew a few weeks ago on Mailbag. I was watching John Campia's rant on movie studios, spending hundreds of millions of dollars on a lot of their films, causing movie ticket prices to dramatically increase. My question is, do you think we'll ever see movie ticket prices go back to being below $10, or do you think all is doom and they will continue to increase? Thanks and keep up the great work. Well, first, um, I th it's important to note that I believe the national ticket average uh, across the nation, like if you live here in LA, it's expensive. If you live in New York, it's expensive. Across the US, I believe if you look it up, the, the average movie ticket price is $9 and something right now. So anyway, take that for what it is. Some are cheaper, some are more expensive, depends on the time of day you go, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, basically what the question is, I went off on Mailbag one day about how, look, this, the lack of discipline of movie studios spending more and more and more and more and more money on these movies and giving more and more money to, to movie stars, well, we saw the, the, that those numbers are getting reined in a little bit. That has a direct connection to the overall economics of the movie industry, and it always comes back down to the movie viewer. We are the ones who pay for it. So if you want to know why, hey, why was this ticket, which was $9 just a couple years ago, now $12? Then don't talk about how Robert Downey Jr. earned $90 million for, you know, for doing uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Don't say it's okay that a movie studio spends $300 million on something and then complain that we're spending $12 on a movie ticket. There is a connection between this. It's not the only thing. Absolutely not. There's a lot of other variables. But the whole point of my rant was that there is a connection between how much money studios pay to make their movies and what we end up paying as movie tickets because studios need to make that money back. And then you have the movie theater chains that need to make an income as well and all that kind of stuff. Do I ever think we'll start to see those ticket prices go down? I don't. I think it would be naive to think that they ever will. But we can hopefully slow down the rate. When movie ticket prices are increasing at a much faster pace than the cost of inflation, then there's a systemic problem involved here. I think we can see a day where we see how fast movie ticket prices rise get significantly slowed down. I don't think we're ever going to see them start going backwards. I think maybe movie theaters can introduce promotions where, hey, Mondays. Go go back to two dollar Tuesdays. We're never going to see two dollar Tuesday, but <laughs> introduce a six dollar Tuesday, or maybe we'll see promotions and specials. But overall, I don't think we're going to see the trend reverse. I just think the best we can hope for is to see it <clears throat> slow down. Anyway, Mark, what do you think we're going to see with movie ticket pricing trends? It's so hard to recreate the movie theater experience, and even when you look at down the road, like is something like Netflix or on demand, or will you eventually get to see first run movies in your home or in a theater and have the choice? That is the scenario where I can see the ticket prices that movie theater going down, but I don't see it happening in the near future. I think it's a fair price to actually pay to see a movie like 10, 12 bucks. I think that's a fair price to see a good movie. What gets me, the popcorn and the soda. Jesus H. Cristo. I mean, we're, that's, that's too much money. It's, it just costs too much money to buy popcorn at a theater now. So that's what I'm more worried about than the ticket prices. There's also ways to get in cheap. Like, like you can you could find some, some sort of Groupon or something like that or find a theater that does have a cheaper rate. It might not be a first-run movie. It may have been out for a while, but there's ways to go to a movie for cheap. Eating at the movie, that's a different situation. Schnapp? Well, we know the concessions is where the theaters actually make their markup. Right. It's like the movies, they barely make anything. So it is like that fight that like, hey, I get it. it's like popcorn and water for like 20 bucks. You're basically that's what you're giving the movie theater. You're like, look, you can have that. They don't get much of that. They movie don't ticket get price. almost yeah. nothing of the actual movie. But look, I would love to see them do a double feature Tuesday or something like match up like Transporter Refueled and Hitman, like two movies that are similar in tone. Or like, you know, or and quality. Well, you know, uh, let's not get into that. Uh, well, let's, you know, like Jurassic World. What would you match that up with? Hey, show Jurassic Park. Bring that one out and do a double feature. Just do it every Tuesday and say, hey, for, you know, come on down and we'll we do these limited double features for the same price. I don't know. There's different ways to get to get the audience back to come to get into the theater and to enjoy a double feature. Double features are really fun. I don't know if we're ever going to see movies go down in price. Anyone who lives in the Midwest or in the middle of America, you guys are the nine dollar people. We're like the twelve to fifteen dollar people here in L.A. and New York. <laughs> we we pay a lot, a lot more to see movies. It's <laughs> ridiculous. It sounds so like, awful. I'm a fifteen dollar guy. No, no, <laughs> you're nine dollar people. No, I'm actually no, saying they're lucky because we're like every time we go to the theater before we buy our concessions, it's like four. 40 bucks. You're like, yeah. yo, that's expensive. So John Snip. 
You said we were nine dollar people. I know. I can't believe you said we were nine dollar people. Can I just edge you up to ten dollar people? I'm just saying you're making that money. Please send the extra five bucks to me so I can go see more movies. But uh, yeah, I don't think that prices are going to go down. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, to 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 make sure it doesn't sound like I'm trying to be alarmist or anything like that, I still think I said this on a show a couple weeks ago. I still think the cost of a movie ticket is a great value. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, we were just in Vegas this past weekend, and my wife and her friend decided they wanted to go see the Britney Spears show. It was $110 a ticket. Ooh. I ate one meal at Gordon Biersch. I was there for about 35 minutes. cost me $24 for, for the meal that I had. I mean, or... But then again, you have to be somebody like me who I love the movie going experience. For me to go to a movie and put down 12 bucks for two hours, 15 minutes of hopefully great entertainment that's going to whisk me away and all that kind of stuff, I still contend for entertainment dollar values, that's a, that's a really good value. The other cost you have to remember too for these movie theaters is also that's a lot of real estate. Movie theaters are huge mm -hmm. complexes mm -hmm. with massive amounts of staff. And we as audience members, we should be doing this. We demand better quality pictures, better seating, better audio. So we see, you know, obviously there are bad movie theaters around, but we see movie like you get the AMC Primes, you get the new IMAX and stuff like that. These all cost money. It's So there's a lot of things that go into making a movie ticket cost what it costs. I just agree with these guys. It's not something, it's not a trend we're going to see reverse. 